Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you're having a nice weekend. Um, do something a bit different this week. I'm not sure how this video's going to look. If it's not any of my face, I guess we'll have a laugh when we watch this later. Yeah, I've got all mobile technology on you this week because I thought, um, well, I'll we'd uh, maybe have a look around the apartment so you can kind of have a feel of what's going on around me while I'm filming my videos and you can have a better look at what's going on and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sure my guest host is probably going to be helping out again this week. She's, yeah, she's there. Uh, Whenever there's a camera around, she knows. She just kind of homes in on them. So yeah, this is going to be like a little walkthrough of the apartment. Ruby, you're not on that side. Ah, okay, wait. See, see, walks. This is what I have to put up. With. Right. Hi there, Ruby. <laughs> Are you going to help me do this video today? Hmm. If you're going to help, you have to get down because I need to stand up to start doing this stuff. Oh, I want to give the nice people a tour of the. Of the apartment, yes, there is a bus. That's yeah. going to be. And the phone, yeah. Now he's just showing off. Yeah. Saying, phone and bus and and what else? And, and uh. Bus. Yes, that is a bus. Okay, come on, let's start this video. Come on. Come on. Okay. No, no, Ruby, I'm filming. I'm filming. I'm filming. Okay. Um, where to start? Well, wait. Okay. This this is the living room. I do apologise if it's not the tidiest place. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to blame it all on Ruby, but uh, it's partly our fault too. So, uh, where to start? There's my Melanie's drawing desk, where she does her awesome comics, um, which I will post a link to, actually, underneath this video, because I think it's about time I actually advertised her a little bit. Uh, this is our entertainment centre right here. The, the, the glorious television. I've never had a TV as big as this one before. <laughs> uh, then we've got well, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, um, Blu-ray player, Wii, PlayStation 2, and the Mega Drive under a basket for some reason. <laughs> I used to have many more consoles than that back in the UK, but on the move over we had to sacrifice a few things. So yes, um, this couch is the holder of all of my electronic treasures. Wait a second. Ah, there we go. Quite. It, I had a bigger collection back home again, but yeah, I, I'm just rebuilding. I am doing a pretty good job rebuilding, actually. Good old games, I guess that's what I talk about the most. Uh, Wii games. I might I just add that the Dance Dance Revolution games are all Melanie's. That's nothing to do with me. <laughs> the GTA games, totally mine. Uh you know what, I could spend a lot of time talking about every single one of these games individually, apart from Dance Dance Revolution ones. Uh, maybe something else I could maybe incorporate into future videos, who knows? Then the DS games, and uh, some bit of retro gameage for you there as well. <laughs> okay, Ruby, Ruby. Beep, beep. Ruby. 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 Back up. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, this is my this is my uh, box of books. Uh, yes, so there's a bit of manga in there. Melanie's is the Archies. I've got some Adventure Time comics hidden down the side there. A lot of Pratchett. God rest his soul. And ow, ow. Yeah, thanks for that, Ruby. Excellent. Uh, okay, I think that's enough of the books. Oh boy, Ruby's room. Oh uh, no! Uh, oh yes, Melly did that too. Uh, and hard to see that because of the light, and she did that too. Um, oh. uh, hey, Jake. No prizes for guessing who bought that. It was actually for a cosplay I did last year. Uh, uh, yes, and there's some of the parts of the cosplay there. <laughs> it's the backpack and the hat. Oh, Melanie's PC. Uh, uh, where she does all of her artwork. When she's not doing artwork on that. <laughs> um, yes, there's, there's the bus that Ruby was talking about. And there's the telephone box. And some more telephone boxes. A couple of my friends have asked... Why do you have a picture of a London bus on your wall when you're actually from the north uh, of England? 
I, I, my response is, uh, you're not likely to find any pictures of the Time Bridge in this part of the world, so I mean, London bus was as good as I could do, really. Uh, um, <laughs> some our shelf. Lucky Ducks. Um, wedding present for my best friend Stephen. Um, they're meant to be look, good luck, uh, but they're always meant to have their beaks touching because apparently that's good luck. So after uh, that's uh, when Ruby was a lot smaller uh, and uh, my hair was a lot shorter. Uh, uh, the York, York Dungeon. Uh, Piccolo in there. Ruby wants the cat. Yes, she likes it. She likes the cat. Oh, I keep her busy. It might stop her squashing my fingers again. Um, standard token adventure time calendar, of course. Uh, okay. Oh, I forgot about that picture too. Ruby's got lots of cool pictures in her room. Um, kitchen's not very interesting. It's not really anything to talk about in the kitchen. It's a kitchen. Yeah, pretty much. That's all you need to know about that. <laughs> okay. Bathroom is also pretty boring. It's a standard bathroom. Let's just focus on the interesting things. Um, like our very untidy cupboard. Uh, look, it's just so much. This is totally all me. This is all me. Just totally. I need to sort this out. What a mess. But you get a bit of a, a bit of a quick look at. Pretty much everything I'm into all in one picture. I kind of sums it up there, right there. Doctor Who, Mario, or Radiohead. <laughs> and uh, I've got a big bunch of uh, uh, Adventure Time cards. Yay! Oh, lots of these collector cards. Uh, <laughs> I've got a hat because everybody needs a hat. It's just, it's, it's total, absolute necessity for anybody. Uh, it's the games section. All the Sims games at Melly's. She's got this big Sims thing going on at the minute. So if you just, if I just move, well, you know what? That's, that's all, this is all the PlayStation One games I brought with the UK. I couldn't bear to part with them. So the Breath of Fire, Bubble Bubble, Discworld games, Final Fantasy games, and Tombi and Tombi Two. They're basically games that are so rare. I didn't want to sell them. Uh, even though I can't play them here, I've actually got a uh, um, uh, um, European PlayStation to play them on, so... Uh, yeah, and uh, Guild Wars, that's my And Scrabbles, just... Well, of all the board games we could buy, I thought, let's just buy Scrabble, because Scrabble is um, at least a more intelligent game than some of the ones we get. Manly did that picture. Isn't it awesome? She spoils me. It's just a nice little thing to be for above the bed, isn't it? Oh, and look, the box. It is every man's right and every man's purpose in life to have a box which contains, uh, other than just clothes and stuff, un unknown wires. It's like you've got to have a drawer or a box with wires. It doesn't matter what profession you're in, it doesn't matter what you do in life. You are going to end up with a box full of wires and batteries and apparently shawls. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Something else I need to sort out. Once again, I do apologise for the slight mess. <laughs> oh, we'll get around to tidying this place. But I just thought it'd be nice to give you guys a little bit of a roundup of uh, of what goes on in here and what happens to me every weekend. What this little one gets up to, follow me around, trying to break my fingers, just standard stuff, you know, very standard stuff. Oh, my work backpack, complete with bad deliciousness. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to keep this really interesting. <laughs> Sorry if it's starting to taper off a little bit. I actually showed you around a lot quicker than I expected to. That's our nice uh, view. It's a pretty nice area. It doesn't really feel like you live in a city when you live in this this kind of area. It's it's nice. It's really nice. Uh, okay, so I guess while I'm wandering around now, um, 
a few updates from the week. There's not actually much. I've been playing Knights of the Old Republic. Um, because I haven't really played that as much as I should. So I'm going to give that a good run. Let's see if I can actually finish it this time. Well, well, well. I think that's everything, you know, guys. I really thought it would take me longer to go through stuff. I was going to spend more time on my my uh, my game collection, but um, you know what? I don't want to bore you and don't go through every single game. And wait a second. Whoop. Uh, that's another attempt at catching my own face. Sorry if it's miles off. I'm going to keep it this way anyway. Melanie was saying, um, I was, we were discussing my videos, and she was saying, you need to learn to edit your videos. Change bits here and there, and uh, just so you can edit out the things that don't work. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to edit things out. I don't want to even edit mistakes. What and all, what you see is what you get. I don't want to change anything, even when I mess up all these big gaps where I don't say anything. I don't want to change anything. I want to keep the things the way they are. However, this video comes out, is how I'm going to keep it. You want the real me, not some fake me that's done 15 million different takes just to make sure something look right. Right? I don't know, maybe I'm just waffling, maybe it's just a totally bad idea, maybe I should start editing stuff, but for now, I'm going to keep things the way they are. I'm going to keep enjoying it. I'm going to keep hoping that people watch. Um, and I hope you liked our little walkthrough um, of the apartment. I guess I will show you the kitchen, I suppose, because you can't, can't get a feel for the place unless you see all of it, so... Um, uh, there's our AC for the summer, we desperately need one, it's already too hot for me, it's, it's ridiculous. Wait, what does the thermostat say? Well, you know what, that's not too bad, it says 25 at the minute. Yesterday it was 28 or something, and outside it was 30 in, 30 in the sun. Ah, oh, I can't deal with it. Really can't, oh, there's a nice little mess there as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice kitchen, it's functional. It does the job. And I guess that's pretty much it, huh? Oh. You see anything except the bathroom? And the bathroom is just a bathroom. I, I don't think you really need to see the bathroom. I don't really think that's a, a necessary thing. Oh, yes. I look forward to seeing my grandparents again in September. Yeah, they sent, uh, they sent Ruby a little Easter card. My granddad always writes a little, a little verse. We hope you enjoy your Easter day, but we wish you'd never gone away. Yeah, well, that was nice. He's got nice rubies, desperate to have it. Don't rip it, whatever you do. It's a very nice card, that one. <laughs> they always send little cards and stuff. They're very... Can't wait to see them. And they'll be, uh, you'll be hearing more about that as the time gets closer for that happening. So uh, I, I apologise if I get all mushy in the next few months as I build up to going home. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's everything. Slightly shorter video than usual this week. Like I said, I just thought I'd do something different, show you around, show you, show you the uh, the pad. Um, I could do a more in-depth look around, but um, I, I think you get the idea now. Um, I think in the coming weeks I might start doing little talk-throughs of certain games in particular that I've played in the past. Games that shaped my gaming destiny, uh, or something like that. So uh, there's something else for us to look forward to, or not, depending on your viewpoint on that, of course. Uh, and uh, I think that's everything from me for this week. So uh, I hope you have a good weekend, guys. Um, I'm going to be watching the Eurovision Song Contest tonight. I'm sorry, I'm a big fan of the Eurovision. I can't help it. I love the cheesiness. I love how ridiculous it all is. And even though it should be infuriating, I also love how political it is. It's, it's brilliant. It's ridiculously camp and over the top and fantastic. I can't wait to watch it. But we'll be, I won't be watching it until later on tonight, which means it'll have finished a long time ago in the UK. So... I'm going to have to avoid the internet for the rest of the day to try and make sure I don't catch the results like I did last year. So, if you're watching the Eurovision, have a good Eurovision party. Get the drinks in. I've certainly got a few drinks in, so I'll, I'm, I'm all set. And since the weather's so delicious out there, I say it's horrible for me, I don't like it, but lovely for a little one, I guess I will be taking her out after I have myself some lunch as well. So I'll keep myself busy for the afternoon. Try not to turn into a big, huge, walking pink blob when the sun catches me like it always does. Okay, stay safe, everybody. Have a good weekend, and I will talk to you next week. See you later. And stop.